It is a journey and a path of leadership mindset that everyone, people want to do now. It's taking the conventional into the unconventional, just a new way, a better way. After all, we are breaking out of the past. The old path needs to find a new way. And how we led in the past is not working anymore. It is the ability to induce something more significant than the sum of your life. It is the ability to see what others cannot see. It's the ability to dream what others cannot dream. This new inner leadership is a transformation of the old leadership mindset, but it is rebellion where we want to make a genuine transformation. The inner transformation comes from discovering the self, who I am and then where I am. I'd rather say, let's find where I am and then who I am. The hidden skills and the inner creativity are dormant and do not find a way to come out as you are busy with the external noise and do not have time to listen to what the inner self is telling you. That's what I mean when I talk about inner leadership. And once you build these skills, in the end, that's what people feel when they sit in your presence, comes close to you. They feel safe and trust you. In their mind, you can hold, lead, inspire and find something in them that they cannot see in themselves when they are in your company. That's why leaders are valued, bound and precious. I call it DLQs, diamond-like qualities. That's what this training is all about. This new leadership framework is making a difference because it's a movement. People are joining and they want to be part of it. They want to grow and expand. They want to be part of this new change. They want to be part of this transformation. They want to give back. They want to collaborate. And they want to contribute. It's a movement that starts within and has a fantastic abilities to impact the change and change the world. Makes a difference in people's lives, their lives and lives of others. Where you lead large teams or small groups or do individual coaching one-on-one. -on -one. For me, leadership is all about professional and spiritual growth. It's about inner grace. It's about doing your inner homework. Because there's going to be a new wave of people coming into leadership who want to taste something different and experience something inspiring. They want to lead with compassion and motherly energy. The old way of driving slaves, enslaving people, is not going to work anymore. It is coming. So this heart-led leadership at its core is a movement. I call it a great movement towards radical transformation. It's a heart-led approach to lead, to be a leader. The world needs it today more than ever. It's an invitation, a gesture, a love note to make a new world driven by compassion and human values. Thank you.